Hey everyone, uh, this is a video on how to pose in your armor. Um, we got a lot of requests on a video a couple weeks ago um, about how posing in armor can be a little difficult because the range of motion is different. You might not be able to put your hands above your head or sit down in certain ways, etc., etc. And those are things we do run into when we work with cosplayers who are decked out in armor with like warbler and stuff. Um, so we're just going to talk about some poses that we use when we work with people who are in armor. Okay, so obviously these poses will depend on what kind of armor you're wearing. Everybody is different depending on the character. Um, you know, some people are only wearing top armor. Some people are wearing in addition to like knee armor and leg armor to where they can't like get on their knees or bend or do certain things. So hopefully we're going to be covering all the bases with everybody, I hope. Um, the kind of pictures I see mostly with people uh, that are in armor are just kind of basic like I'm standing looking at the camera with either like a weapon or nothing and they're kind of not doing anything they're kind of just standing there which is a really easy fallback because it is hard to pose with armor um, so something you can do if that's kind of what's happening and you have very like limited range of motion and you can't really think of something is if your outfit has like uh, material like soft material flowing from it or you have a really long wig or something try to get someone to help you and add motion to it and even though you're just standing there looking at the camera with your legs open etc etc if you have someone like pulling the um, fabric towards the camera or having like your wig do something crazy it'll add something to that picture that normally would just be really boring it would just be you being like badass standing there but it's really boring for the viewer so if you add that flow it just takes it up to that extra level do if you have a long weapon a sword or a staff and you are able to bend your knees and get on them um, we've worked with some cosplayers who will like sit on their warbler if they're very careful um, but if you are able to get down um, just pretend this is longer. You can do something like this, you know, you can also go from the side a little bit. You can have it stick up and kind of just be kind of against it, like soft, more delicate. Um, we did that um, with the League of Legends character we did um, and she was a little more not as armored but it would it would definitely work for someone who is armored um, if you can bend your legs um, and do something more exaggerated like that you know you can obviously do this which we talked about in the episode of posing with another person you can extend your weapon out or you can just be like this um, Something you shouldn't ignore whilst being in armor is being delicate. I think people view armor as, you know, something that's kind of harsh and more like fighting, obviously. But um, you can do delicate poses in armor which don't really require that much like squatting or bending or jumping or anything like that. Um, obviously, depends on the type of character you're doing. But something I always like for, um, a female character is a bend in the leg right here arms up kind of like this obviously you can do that in armor you can also do something where you can either look at the camera over your shoulder or just look this way I don't know gives it some sort of depth and you're not having to move that much Also, you can work with other things like this foliage here. Um, you can lean back, maybe one leg bent, one leg straight, and just pull all the way back. Just put all your weight in this back area. And it's kind of a strong pose. And you're not doing much. Obviously, you can do that pose with warbla, anything. Um, something you might have problems with with armor is being able to press up against things like with your back 
Um, we know when we work with people with like shoulder pauldrons, they tend to like go over the back and sometimes they can't press up against things completely. Um, so something we like to do, you will be pressing with this area of your back. There's no, there shouldn't be much shoulder involved or upper back, just lower back. Kind of hard with a tree. Usually we do this with a wall, but I'm doing this with a tree right now. And what you do is you press and you stick your legs out and you bend your knees and you pop up and go on your tippy toes. And you're kind of just like leaning back like this. We did it for, um, what's that guy's name? Raiden. <laughs> Uh, cosplay and it was in cityscape and it just looked really cool. It's definitely a more model-esque kind of pose um, but we really like it for characters like that who maybe um, have a lot of armor going on and can't do everything we ask them to do. Um, so doing something like that it just it's like there's so much going on with your body like with the shape. Um, I really like it. I think it's a really cool pose. Um, a lot of other things we've covered in videos that we've already done, like the running pose that we did in the cityscape video, um, we did that pose with someone who was in full out leg armor. So when you are doing your armor, kind of just bend, do like a squat, do like go like this, just to see like what your range of motion is. Um, because we've met up with cosplayers and they're like, I don't know, I'm like, how far can your arms go up? And they're like, this far, you know? Um, and it's good to know before you go on the shoot because um, then you know what you can accomplish. Am I able to be like putting my hand up here or doing something like this? Can you do that? Can your, can your elbows go that high? Can you do the fake run that we did in the cityscape video, et cetera, et cetera. And then once you know all that, you can work with a photographer and just get the most out of it. Um, and in future videos, we will definitely try uh, to <laughs> note uh, when things can be done with both a flexible cosplay and a more armored cosplay. I know some of the people who do armored cosplays were feeling sort of left out in some of our previous videos. Um, so in the future, we will definitely try to do more with that. Um, I hope this video helped you. If you have any suggestions for further videos, leave them in the comments below.